Hey guys, I'm going to explain and show you guys how to encrypt cars. So first, in order to acquire the tool, you need to have a valid brand of your own and get into contact with XFAT. If you successfully get the tool from him, you will be presented with two folders. Both of these folders have an encryption tool in it, but they're for different purposes, which I'm going to explain a little later. Each folder has two encryption tools. So I'm going to start with this first one. The first encryption tool ending in underscore shared is for the purpose of taking the model and encrypting it. This allows the car to be used in any server to be seen in the showroom and custom showrooms and it allows people to edit the car's data, how it performs, how it steers, the acceleration, whatever they choose. The second tool in the folder uses the car model and the data.acd file. Now note, if there's no acd file in it, it won't encrypt correctly because the method needs that. So this is the packed data, aka the data.acd file. So that needs to be in the target car. So since it uses the data.acd file in the encryption process, any changes to it will corrupt the model. And this is what is specifically used for cars like Nohezi. Just an explanation a little more, the method for locking cars is not done by the encryption process, but rather it's in a file in the data that checks for the server IP and if the server IP doesn't match with the predefined values, it'll cut the throttle or keep the revs at zero or keep the brakes on. So changing that file causes the model to be corrupted. The second folder ending in V3 also has two encryption tools for the same purpose as the last two respectively, but with this encryption tool, the model is not visible in the custom showroom. So in my opinion, this is a stronger encryption method as decrypting cars involves viewing the cars in custom showrooms. But before you encrypt every car you want like this, I want to let you know it's not worth it for specific cars. In the Seto community, we have a lot of people making and remaking cars, so the following criteria should be followed when encrypting a car. If you use a Kudos car and change the car model and the way it drives, don't encrypt the car. That The market is flooded with these type of cars. It is useless. If you use a Kudos car as a template, and let's say you delete the body, you delete the interior, and you're remaking it using the same mesh name so that you can create an original car of your own, definitely use the underscore shared encryptor for that. If you make a vehicle from scratch or you have had paid parts within the vehicle, use the V3 encryptor. If your car drives in a specific way that you don't wish for people to change or you want to lock the car to your server, Use the ACD checksum encryptor and then if it's underscore shared, people will be able to view it and the V3 will be for people not being able to see it. I want to show you guys actually how to do it. So go to the folders and decide which encryptor you want. I'm going to use shared so people can see it. I'm going to also have it encrypt on the ACD because I don't want people to edit the way my car drives and certain files in the car. So you Click the CAN5 and you just drag it onto the application and it should take a couple of seconds. It freezes, just let it be. And once it's done, you'll have an encrypted version. So take your regular base model and uh, you could also encrypt the collider, but uh, I'm not going to. You can take the uh, encryptor, the base model and your backup and delete those. Then you're going to rename your car model file and remove the underscore encrypted text from it and then that's it now this is encrypted but if you have objects that you add onto the car like for instance has bula you'll be able to encrypt these files too but i use the wrong encrypted there's no data.acd file here so this is not a, a valid argument for it to accept so i'm going to go to the v3 so that people can still see my car but they won't be able to actually steal the model so I'm going to copy this and then paste it into the folder and then do exactly the same thing. Take the KN5 file, drag it onto the encryptor and it'll encrypt the file. And afterwards, I'm going to rename it. I do the same thing for my police lights. So all my files are encrypted. After you're done with this, just go through the folder and make sure that the data folder isn't there. There isn't an unpacked model, all your KN5 models, the name of it is actually correct. And you should be good to go to send your cars off for people to download. So I hope you learned something. Enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, something like that. Bye.